Last weekend, Offset and his wife Cardi B had a run-in with Trump supporters during which he was cuffed and later released. Um, the live stream video showed that Cardi and Offset were cruising together in LA when they came upon numbers of supporters of the president. Cardi captured pickup trucks with Trump flags and American flags flying, which she said was freaking hard hell out. But another video has surfaced online showing the moment Cardi confronted the cops for dragging her beloved husband. And of course, people are talking. What do you think about like it? Just me and my girlfriend. All you, need, all you need is Cardi B, yeah? It's, it's, not, it's not me and my girlfriend. In this case, it's me and my wifey. Because, mm. man, um, I don't know. I don't know. There's just something about Cardi that just spells real. Hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. A lot of women would probably freak out seeing their husbands getting um, um, cuffed by uh, police, especially with the whole police brutality. And like we all know, it's not just in Nigeria, it's a global thing. And they just had their own phase of that just recently before we had our own NSARS. So this is a case where everyone could have been scared for hmm. their lives. Being a celebrity or not, yeah, we know they may not shoot like that shot. Maybe. Yeah, but then maybe real is not the word you wanted to use. Maybe it's that this baby is gangster because <laughs> you can be real and still get scared and then just stay away and try to make videos and say, okay, this okay. is what is happening. Even as much as but I would like to use gangster, I also, I've seen several videos. You get, Cardi is one of those female, I don't follow a lot of female rappers, mm -hmm. not because um, I'm misogynist or anything or because I don't, I just feel like, oh, you can't be telling me about certain things and, um, uh, all right story wow. for another day yeah you are, you are <laughs> dipping yourself into the you story know. <laughs> story for that's why i said story for another day there's a logical explanation for that as a as, as a hip-hop head and i'm sure a lot of hip-hop heads can do really you want to get that. into that no i really don't want to okay. because um, just come back you to do you like hip-hop come back to Kadibi. you don't like hip-hop so no matter whether it's hip-hop or, even or hip down don't try to use that anyway let's not get into that let's not get into the narrative right but um at the end of the day, I just like the fact that Cardi is one of those girls that has always kept real. Like, she makes me feel like she has something I have. I don't want to be really explicit, but she, <laughs> she makes me, she is that real. Do you understand? Oh, Cardi makes me feel that way. Cardi is that girl that every guy okay, wants Okay, now, nah, we've heard. Yeah. You, yeah. you love so a Cardi. I, I like, yeah, every, every, guy, yeah, every, every guy, guy wants, wants a Cardi. Cardi. Can yeah. every guy handle a Cardi? And that's the question. Well, because we is it know, to look, always want a Cardi? Is it to always see, oh, this person is amazing, this is a strong woman, this is an independent woman, and you want the woman. But can you handle this woman? Can you stand by her and understand her, her goodness um, and her craze? She got married, didn't she? It, it, well, she got married and we... She is still married. Married, isn't if, she? Uh, that is not the question. She still you are not. By, are you offset? She still stood by offset. Are you she? offset? Um, I can. I'm not offset. I will never be offset. Offset is not fair. Offset. <laughs> I, I. It will never be fair. Do you understand? I get what we you're are, saying. I'm just saying. In the video, a lot of you guys. I'm, a lot of. Ad, mm, admire. Don't say you guys. Don't put. Are you me not in the a mix. man? If I say a lot of men, are you not a man? Wait. Many men. Let me put it that many way. Men. <laughs> many, many, many. They want what they see. But when it's time to really stand and um, understand that this person is an individual let me, let me. and a complete human being that can also be everything. Let me tell you. There's then a it's dose, a problem. There's a dose for every crazy. Mm. Even in the psychiatric hospital, right? If I, you know what I'm saying. Wait, just trying even to in the psychiatric like hospital, when... Um, are you going uh, to call Abana? Because men, I don't know men, what when, when, when mentally impaired patients are are having their episodes, right? There's an injection they give to them. There, there is a dose of something that can't so what are you down. Saying? So I'm saying that there is a dose for every crazy. So some men can handle crazy. Some, and that's yeah. very few, really. Yeah. But yeah. Um, shout out to Cardi B. I still don't understand why they, Wait, she's always... Wait, can I just finish selling my markets before you cut me Who off? Who are you selling I'm to? part of those guys that can handle crazy. Come on, oh, so you, you can. can go on now. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. I, I can't say I have witnessed that, but good luck to you if you buy his market. <laughs> um, but shout out to Cardi B for standing by her man. And I think the last time we really spoke about Cardi B was when she said she was getting mm. a divorce. Oh, yeah. I don't think we really followed up that story after that. No, yeah. it's not like we didn't follow. She didn't follow <laughs> up. This. She personally <laughs> did not follow up the story. Who are we to be following, following up, up the story? Yeah. Do you understand? So, yeah. 
Uh, that's why I'm still saying that, look, they wanted to get the votes and we still saw how strong she stood by a man. Mm. You know, you, in this part of the world, you say, they don't catch you. <laughs> you, get, you know, Nigerian women can be all dramatic and all, but um, she, she's still real. And then we know, we know, we know the reality. Okay, so all jokes aside, mm. now this is, this is a serious scenario where you see a black man getting dragged out of his car because he refused to turn But he said he's going, to, he's going to sue them, though. Yeah, he sh as so he let's should. let's see how that so, um, we saw how his rights was infringed upon. Mm -hmm. He was unarmed. He wasn't violent. He wasn't. There was a tangle. There was a big tangle for social media I'm these days. You. There, you know, he was unarmed. He wasn't violent. He wasn't arguing. He didn't resist the rest and everything. Mm -hmm. And we saw the way they pulled him. Why? Because he's young, black, and rich. And um, but man, the couple goals still. You are talking about Big Sean and Aiko. Look at uh, how they all both pulled up. He pulled up in a Bentley. She pulled up in a Rolls Royce. And I'm like, whoa. That's <gasps> Don't how add I to my depression. <laughs>